Jonathan Bailey's life isn't quite as glamorous as his Bridgerton character, but he is just as dashing in reality. The 33-year-old actor, who plays Viscount Anthony Bridgerton in the hit Netflix series, is taking center stage for season 2 as his character searches for a wife. Anthony was a bit of a nuisance, trying to set his sister up with horrible suitors and blocking the path of true love. When he wasn't stopping Daphne and Simon getting together, even attempting to shoot the Duke in a duel, Anthony was failing to find a wife and stringing singer Sabrina along. Before shooting to global fame after the first season, Jonathan was fairly well known on these shores for a number of TV and theater roles. As a teenager he appeared in the movies Five Children and It, Elizabeth, The Golden Age and St. Trinians, but his most prominent role was as Leonardo da Vinci in CBBC series Leonardo. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a Mirror newsletter here. Has also been in BBC2 comedy W1A, Channel 4's Campus, Doctor Who, The Bill and Blade the Shifty Reporter in Broad Church. The actor has also had a number of theatre roles, playing a child Scrooge in A Christmas Carol aged 8, Les Miserables, Othello, and Company, which he won the 2019 Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role in a Musical for. This year, Jonathan will star opposite Taron Edgerton in the production of Cock, which led to an awkward moment on the one show where he couldn't mention the name. Away from acting, Jonathan has managed to keep much of his personal life private but has spoken about feeling pressured to hide his sexuality. Speaking to GQ, he said that an actor friend told him, there's two things we don't want to know, if you're an alcoholic or if you're gay. He added, all it takes is for one of those people in that position of power to say that, and it ripples through. So, yeah, of course I thought that. Of course I thought that in order to be happy I needed to be straight. The Olivier Award winner said that he reached a point where his attitude became F this, with him deciding to prioritize being open over securing projects. He said, I'd much prefer to hold my boyfriend's hand in public or be able to put my own face picture on Tinder and not be so concerned about that than get a part. Jonathan spoke to Sir Ian McKellen, who he first met in 2017 when they appeared on stage together in a production of Shakespeare's King Lear, during an interview in 2020. He explained, The most conservative conversations I've had about me being honest about my sexuality in this day and age have come from gay men in the industry, oh, no, you can't come out. You shouldn't really do that. If you do that, you're going to have to. I was coming to terms with my own sexuality, I hadn't necessarily hidden it. But I've never been not honest about it. It's just there had never been a need to talk about it. There's a sense of shame, I think, that's palpable throughout gay men within the industry. But then there's also this heteronormative heterosexual understanding of sexuality. Jonathan once admitted the most romantic thing someone had ever done for him was run a bath and then sit there having a chat. Speaking to Harper's Bazaar, he added, put the toilet seat down and just sort of be there while you bathe. I think there's something really sweet and brilliant and, you're naked, and you know, I think that's really romantic. In preparation for the new series, Jonathan has been getting into shape with a good diet plan and plenty of sleep. Cast members often strip off for raunchy sex scenes so Jonathan wanted to look his best, and has also felt daunted by the prospect of returning as the lead character. He told New. Magazine, 
stepping into the shoes that Phoebe Deniver, who returns as Daphne, and Rega Jean Page wore and led with so gracefully last season has taught me a lot. Taking on that responsibility has been amazing for so many reasons. This season required a lot of staying calm and steady and ready. It's kept me on my toes. I got really fit, I made sure to eat well and get loads of sleep, and everything else just seemed to fall into place. Jonathan also sounded coy when considering why season 1 of Bridgerton was such a runaway success, hinting he thought it simply came out at the right time. He pondered, it's been a wild few years for the world, and I think part of that led to the success of Bridgerton. It came at the right time and knocked everyone off their feet. It gave people the Christmas romance we deserved after a really tricky year. The actor also revealed methods that were taken to ensure his co-star Simone Ashley felt safe during sex scenes. Simon, who is best known for playing Olivia Hunan in Sex Education, joined the second series of the cast as Kate Sharma, Anthony's love interest. The pair signed a contract before the intimate scenes were shot and the show's intimate moments will continue to be shot from the female gaze. Speaking to the Sunday Times, he said, for a man, it is less exposing. I wanted to make sure Simone felt safe as a newcomer on set. He said a contract was drawn up which details what the stars are not comfortable with showing on screen and also details which bit of skin they would be exposing and where and how they would be touched. No one goes into a scene quaking, worrying about how it will go, if you are concerned you can talk to them, he added. It turns sex scenes into a choreographed dance. Do you have a story to share? Email web features at Trinidad Mirror. Tom.